What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the NECA Ultimate Editions Terminator 2 Judgment Day, the T-800. And so here we have the T-800 posed and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories really fast. The T-800 comes with three different head sculpts. We do get one where he does not have his sunglasses on. We have one where he has his sunglasses on, which is my preferred look. And then we also do get a battle damaged head, which has the endoskeleton exposed. He also comes with four different weapons. He comes with a handgun, which does fit in his right hand. He does come with his boom tube. He comes with his pump action shotgun. And then we also do get his belt fed Gatling gun. Other than that, the T-800 here doesn't come with anything else. I think a different set of hands would have also been nice, maybe a pair of fists, but that's just me personally. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually move on to his details. And so here we have a closer look at the T-800, and I have to say that NECA did a really good job with what this figure is. Now, they did mark it off as the Ultimate Edition's Terminator, but it's really just a mixed match of old parts mixed with some new legs. They really didn't improve too much on this figure with the exception of his waist down. So everything from the waist up is from the original NECA Terminator figure. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it is kind of outdated in terms of paint and sculpt. The reason I say that is they went with the classic neck joint right here for the ball joint. So we don't get a separation of the head and neck. As far as the likeness goes, I honestly think this is a really good job for being a really old sculpt. They, it still has that Arnold Schwarzenegger look. I'm pretty sure if they were to use the new photoreal technology that they are using on some of their newer figures, this would be a much better figure. And I hope to see them reissue the T-800 and the T-1000 with that photoreal because I think it'll make those figures pop even more. But yeah, it's a really nice head sculpt and it has aged exceptionally well. I know there's a lot of head sculpts that don't age well. I think put some photo reel on that and you have the ultimate, no pun intended, T-800 from Terminator 2. Having a look at his outfit here, you can see that I have him with the bandolier on with all these explosive s shells. If you really want to, you can take this off. All you need to do is pop his head off and just take it off. I left it on because it's how he looked at the near the climax of the movie where he was broke into Skynet basically and I really really like these they are all painted well they're detailed nicely a little bit of slop right here on mine you can see that there's some gold paint there but overall it's cleanly it's well done and they even painted the buckle back here so really nice detail there i kind of wish that this strap opened up so you could store one of his weapons i think that's a missed opportunity by NECA, but it does look good as far as the rest of the figure goes let's actually pop his head off so we can talk about the detailing on his clothing really really good job with his jacket this jacket has seen a lot of battles and you can see it has bullet holes it's all worn and raggedy really do like that the t-shirt underneath him is that military green gray that we saw him with in the movie so that does look really nice let's just get his head back on really fast but yeah i love the detailing on this jacket you see all the bullet holes in the front and in the back they're sculpted really nicely you can see he has taken quite a few shots and NECA again with the detailing they did just brought this out beautifully Really do like the arms here, and again, we get some more bullet holes here. We have the zipper, which is painted and sculpted, so I do like that. And then we do have him with his leather biker gloves, if the camera will focus on that. So overall, really love the detailing here. They even added this little buckle here on his sleeve, and again, the zipper is sculpted and painted. So overall... From the waist up, this is the basic Terminator figure that we got ooh, so many years ago. The legs down, they, NECA did uh, retool this. The original legs were in a static pose, so you can't really move them around. They did go back and give them new legs, so that is something new. You can see that his belt is painted nicely. It's a really nice brown. The buckle is painted, and all the looplets do go around the buckle or around the belt really like the leather belt or leather pants that he has on 
they did a really good job sculpting all that detail and it looks good and they even applied a light brown wash over it just to highlight some of those details and it's just really executed nicely. I would have liked to see some battle damage here. I know that there is a little bit of it. Uh, actually there is no battle damage on his legs. That's a little bit disappointing. I would like to see some bullet holes in his legs because I'm pretty sure the legs took some hits at some point. But yeah, it looks really nice. And unfortunately, mine does have really loose legs. I'm not really putting much effort in. And you can see they are moving quite a bit. I am going to have to put some kiki in that just to fix it. But it's, it's, not a, you know, it's nothing I can't fix. Really like the buckle on his big boots here. He has these really nice rider boots. So overall, detailing on this figure is well done. And he does suffer a little bit in articulation just because of how NECA designed this figure. They used a really old torso and applied new legs. It works, but I'll get into some things that don't really work. So for now, let's actually move on to comparisons and compare the T-800 to other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have the T-800 posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have the T-800 posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have the T-800 posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally here we do have the T-800 posed next to the T-1000 and the 2-pack John Connor and Sarah Connor. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually run through his articulation really fast. The Terminator here does have a ball joint at the neck, so he can look up about that far. He can look down about that far, and we do get some really nice head tilt. There's nothing wrong with a ball joint here at the neck. Uh, I think it actually works good. I just wish that there was a ball joint here at his head as well, just to give him a little bit more range of movement. His head does turn left and right, no problem. And if you do push it too far, you will pop the head off the joint, but that's what we've come to expect from figures with interchangeable heads. Arms are on hinges that do go out only to about there so it's not ideal his arm doesn't go all the way horizontal this arm uh, does a little bit better but again that is because this is a really old body and NECA really should have updated this torso hopefully down the line they do update a new torso but I'm not holding my breath arms do go all the way around no problem and again you can see how the arm jets off to the side this one goes up at a much better angle so yeah, there is some sculpt right here that forces the left arm out to the side. We only have a hinge here at the elbow and that does give us 90 degrees, which does work fine. And then we do have a swivel. We have a ball joint here at the wrist, not a ball hinge, just a regular ball hinge or ball joint. So that does move around nicely. We do not have any articulation here in the torso. That is a solid piece of plastic. We only have rotation at the waist no ab crunch unfortunately. Now this is where his articulation does get a little bit strange and I'll go over that really fast. Legs do kick forward really nicely. They do go back and then they go out exceptionally well. For his right leg we just have a swivel up here at the hip. We have a single joint at the knee giving us less than 90 degrees. We do have rotation at that knee. We have a ball joint here at the foot so it does go back forward, left and right, as well as swivel. For his left leg, really strange, and this carries on to the really old Terminator figure. We get the hip swivel right here. We have a thigh swivel, which is way up here in the middle of the thigh, and it looks bad no matter how you swivel it. We do have a hinge at the knee, which does a little bit better than the right knee, and again, that does swivel. We have a cut right here at the calf, which swivels again. So he has a thigh swi swivel, hip swivel, and a... Okay, he has a lot of swivels down here. Uh, I'll get into that when I show off his boot swivel, and that's a ball joint. So really strange why he has a boot swivel, a calf swivel, a knee swivel, a, a thigh swivel, and a hip swivel, all just in his left leg. The right leg has the joints you would expect. This leg... It has so much craziness to it. I really wish they didn't do that, but uh, it, like I said, it is an old figure using new parts and they should have really thought that out. 
But anyway, that's the T800 for you guys. So what we're going to do now is get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the NECA Ultimate Editions T800 pose for my final thoughts. And overall, this is still a really solid figure. I just wish that NECA had actually looked into updating this figure 100% from the way the abdomen works. I think they could have added their new technology where it has the rubber overlay with the articulation underneath that. The legs could use some more work. I don't know why they went with this really old uh, five different swivels in the leg. That seems a little bit too much. I think the hip swivel, knee swivel, and ankle swivel were enough. No need for the calf and mid-thigh swivel. Other than that, there's really not much more to want out of a Terminator figure. I think the only thing I would add with him is probably the box of roses that he carried the shotgun in at the start of the movie. That is probably the one thing I would add with this particular version of the Terminator. Because as far as it goes, he comes with his handgun, he comes with the shotgun, he comes with the boom tube, and then he comes with a Gatling gun. So there's really not much more you would want to add with him. So overall, I still recommend this figure if you're a fan of Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people are because it is one of the greatest movies in all history. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend you definitely check it out because it is a really good movie. I seem to recall events from Terminator 2 more than I recall from the original Terminator, which is probably why I gravitated toward the Terminator 2 figures instead of the original Terminator figures. I still think NECA has done an amazing job, and with the release of the Sarah Connor John Connor 2-pack, we are seeing the T-800 and T-1000 back on the shelves. If you didn't miss out on it originally, this is your chance to pick it up. Terminator fans are going to rejoice having another shot at this, and if you already have it, you can go ahead and pass on it. Terminator here will run you about $30, which is regular for a NECA figure. I did pick mine up from Big Bad Toy Store, and that did run me $30, and he was in my pile of loot for a while, and I really wanted to wait till I had the entire cast to review him. So with that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as all my other NECA videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone. <music>